Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and I hope you're all doing well. Today, as always, we have got a couple of news stories in the world of tech and PC gaming. First up, we're going to be talking about Intel and their upcoming lineup of XE GPUs, which were mentioned yesterday during their developer conference and ray tracing was discussed as well as a possible release date thanks to a tweet from Raja Kadori, formerly of AMD. And also we've got a look at the hefty system requirements for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Did you just finish building a sweet gaming rig only to have this happen to you? Not to worry because your CD key has you covered with Windows 10 Pro licenses for under $15. And if you head over there right now, you could save 20% off with my code JPD20 at checkout. You'll receive your key within seconds and then just click the start button and type activate to find the Windows activation screen. And all you gotta do then is paste your code in. For more info as well as that coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. So first up, as I said, we're going to be talking about Intel, who recently had their IDC developer conference out of Tokyo. And of course, the XE discrete GPUs, which everyone is looking forward to seeing, were mentioned during that developer conference. They talked about when it's actually going to be available. As we know, it's going to be 2020. Um, that information has kind of been kicked around there for a while, but it has now been officially confirmed that we will see the Intel XE GPUs at some point next year. And also ray tracing was mentioned as well, and it was confirmed that at launch they will support ray tracing on their graphics card, something that AMD has yet to really tackle. I'm still hoping that they will at some point next year uh, with whatever GPUs they happen to release in 2020. Of course, Nvidia has already had the technology for quite a while, it's extremely demanding. So it's gonna be interesting to see what Intel can do in that space. And it's just gonna be great to have a third competitor um, in there. You know, we got AMD and Nvidia, and that's really the only choice we've had for decades. So Intel coming in with something that I hope is, uh, hopefully it's good, hopefully it's on par with what Nvidia is putting out there. And AMD can, you know, it can only really help to you know, benefit the consumer at the end of the day. So this story was mentioned over on DSOG and they also uh, pointed to a tweet from Raja Kadori where he shows off his license plate on his Tesla Model X, which says Think XE. Uh, and they suggest here in the DSOG article that the plate itself suggests a June 2020 release for the Intel XE GPUs, which I suppose is possible that um, you know that he is trying to that they're trying to mention that uh, as you can see here on a little bit bigger size of the image you got the the stickers here would say June and 2020 for think XE uh, so it's possible but these stickers uh, I believe California used these as like um, registration stickers for when your registration for the vehicle expires so I believe that's what those are really used for so I don't really think he would have any control over that, or I guess it could have been thought out uh, ahead of time when the uh, registration would expire, but I think it, it could possibly just be reading too much into um, just a simple image of his license plate, which uh, shows Raj's excitement for the XC GPUs coming out next year. But, you know, it, it could be June 2020. I wouldn't read so much into that part of it personally, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you think uh, we're actually going to get the Intel XE GPUs in June 2020 and that that is Raj's full intention by showing the license plate there. Next up, we need to discuss Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is coming out on November 15th of this year. Finally, a single player game uh, from EA and Respawn who are working on this game. So I'm definitely excited to see what they can do. I really enjoy Titanfall 2 quite a bit. And of course, Respawn has had a lot of success uh, with Apex Legends. So Jedi Fallen Order is, I think, a single player game for Star Wars that people have been looking forward to for a quite a while. And um, it is kind of, it, it reminds me a lot of Star Wars 1313. If you remember, that game was announced many years ago and then it was taken away and canceled uh, by EA. So this is kind of like a spiritual successor to that and kind of picked up where that left off. And I'm definitely excited to uh, try this game out as the initial gameplay for it so far uh, did look pretty decent. The graphics are definitely impressive. And we now have the minimum and the recommended system requirements, which are quite hefty on the recommended side of the system requirements. So we'll head over to Game Debate first. We'll take a look at the minimum requirements. You can see they are they are, the minimum is at least Windows 7 64-bit and Intel Core i3-3222 core uh, or the FX6100, 8 gigabytes of system memory, 1 gigabyte of video memory. And for the GPU side, they're, rec they're, they're saying here at least a GTX 650 or a 7750. So those are very modest system requirements on the minimum side. But when we jump over to the recommended, which uh, I've talked about this before in the past, typically recommended system requirements 
are targeting 1080p high settings at 60 frames per second. That is usually what developers are targeting when they mention recommended system requirements. So keep that in mind. This is only for 1080p high 60 FPS in all likelihood. And here they are recommending Windows 10 64 bit, as you would imagine. It's probably going to have DirectX 12 support. I would think it's probably, I would, I would, I'm assuming it's going to have DX11 and DX12 as an option as they've been doing that. Um, for a while with these games. For the CPU, they're saying an i7-6700, so that's a quad core, or a Ryzen 7 1700, so very modern processors there. And this, this is where it gets a little bit dicey. 32 gigabytes of system memory. That is some serious amount of RAM that they are recommending you have here to be able to run this game. So I'm definitely gonna wanna see how this actually impacts performance. Uh, I use 64 gigs in my system, so it's not really a concern of me, but I think most people out there, when they're, you know, they build a system, they're probably gonna go for like 16 gigabytes. That's kind of the sweet spot. It's usually more than enough to play most modern games. So 32 gigabytes at the recommended is, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That is a lot of system memory to be able to run this game at 1080p on high settings. For the GPU RAM, again, they're recommending eight gigabytes of VRAM here. So that's a decent amount there. And on the GPU side, again, hefty requirements here, recommending a GTX 1070 or an RX Vega 56. So those are definitely uh, some hefty requirements. It does actually mention the uh, DirectX version here. It mentions DirectX 11. Um, so I could be wrong about it having DirectX 12. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, it still might, you know, support both of them, but it only is uh, mentioning DirectX 11 here. Didn't notice that earlier, but yeah, that's all they mentioned. So as I said, some pretty hefty requirements there on the GPU side, the CPU side, 32 gigabytes of system memory is a lot. I'm not sure too many of you out there are, are running 32 gigs of, of RAM, so we'll see how this game performs. Um, if, six, if 16 gigabytes is a hindrance in any way to the performance or if 32 gigabytes helps a lot with the performance on the game. So I'm definitely gonna be benchmarking this when it comes out, fingers crossed for a built-in benchmark because that always makes my life easier and I, do, I just enjoy built-in benchmarks for some reason kind of crazy like that but i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here guys please let me know your thoughts and comments opinions as always on the intel xe gpus down in the comments whether or not you think it's going to be coming june 2020 and also on the jedi fallen order system requirements are you going to be able to run this game um let, let me know down in the comments below but i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video Tara.